Hi friends, Merry Christmas Eve. Hello everyone and welcome back to my cooking show. I'm your host, Chef Chunti, and I'm back. First of all, I want to say a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you tuning in at home. I know that I have been gone for a very long time. I just, I needed to take a break from my chunti ways because it was starting to catch up with me. <laughs> but um, I'm back and I'm ready to make a very spicy snack with you. But first, I need my apron. So since tonight is Christmas Eve, I thought that we could make some carne asada hot Cheeto fries for Mr. Santa Claus himself because I'm sure he's tired of the same cookies and milk routine. You know, every every Christmas, cookies and milk, cookies and milk, cookies and milk. I'm sure that he's bored. He's tired of it and he doesn't want it anymore. So I want to get him a little excited when he comes to my house this year. So um, basically, about... I want to say like a year ago, I saw this video on Twitter where this restaurant made basically what is carne asada fries, but with hot Cheetos instead of the fries. So I looked everywhere on Twitter for this video. I searched high and I searched low and I could not find it. So I'm just going to be going based off of memory here. But basically all you really need for this is some carne asada, the main beauty, hot Cheetos themselves, some guac, some sour cream, and some cheese. So to start, we're gonna start off with our hot Cheetos, which is basically gonna act as the fries. So this is gonna be our base for our meal. Can you guys smell that? Can you smell it? Doesn't it smell amazing? Yeah. I know. So we're just gonna put like a little, little generous amount for Santa, you know? He works hard. He deserves it. Um, oops. <laughs> it's fine. You guys, it is so good. <laughs> I know, don't you wish you could have some? Now that our base is laid down for us, we're going to throw some carne asada on top of that. Just kind of sprinkle it in. Make it look nice and cute. Get a little creative with it. You know, don't be afraid of the carne asada. You know, don't be scared of it, you guys. It's just meat, you know? It's not nothing too crazy. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so now we're going to take some cheese and gonna sprinkle that on top just so we can give it a nice little, little marinade of flavor and just, deliciousness. We obviously know from stories that Santa is not lactose intolerant, you guys. He definitely isn't. He loves his milk. So uh, we're just going to be very generous and um, that should be fine. Now we're going to pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds, let it melt a little bit, and we'll move on to the next step. It's ready. Ooh, look at that. Nice and melted. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and put some sour cream up in here, <laughs> up in the his house. <laughs> you guys, I know, crazy, right? So we're just gonna do a little bit of that. Doesn't that look marvelous? Oh my goodness, my mouth is just, salivating. Now that that's done, we're going to put the entire little um, container of guac in here. Oh yeah, Santa's gonna like that. And you guys, I think we're done. It wasn't that super simple, that was like under five minutes. Amazing. 
So now that the food is ready for Santa to eat, I think it would be nice if we left him a little letter too. So I'm gonna take out my little notepad and write Santa Claus a little special note so that he can feel appreciated. Love, no, stay spicy, Chef Chuvi. It's perfect. Well guys, that brings us to basically the end of the night because now all that's left to do is just set this up and put it away for Santa to come grab whenever he's ready. So let's put our note on the bottom his little snack, and a nice Coke for the holidays. We're just gonna set this by the Christmas tree so it's easier for him to find. Well guys, I'll see you next time. But I'm not gonna see you tomorrow because Alyssa has a very special video coming your way so until next time, I'm Chef Shinti, stay spicy.